All right, well, hey, um, thank you for coming out today. My name is Bill Hoy. I'm the community liaison with Surf Broadband Solutions. And uh, as you've heard, we're kicking off a project down here to do fiber optic uh, broadband to all bourbon residents. So there's a, it's a, it, we're, we're gonna hear from some of the people in the town and learn the history. But first, I'd just like to give you a little um, uh, breakdown about why we're doing this. And really what we learned, especially in COVID, is that connectivity to your home is very important. Most people shifted to work from home, school from home. And uh, so what we've seen is those speeds that are available um, to some homeowners weren't sufficient, didn't even meet the, um, the, the FCC's definition of broadband. So maybe you didn't know, but the, the FCC, the Federal Communications Commission, defines broadband today as, as 25 megabits down and three megabits up. So that's the standard. If you don't have that, you, you don't really have broadband. Um, so there's talk in Congress right now about bumping both of those speeds to 100 megabits. So it'd be 100 up, 100 down. That's a huge increase in speed. It's gonna be difficult to do with some of the existing systems that are installed. So a whole new infrastructure, this fiber optic, fairly limitless as far as speeds. And uh, what our plans are gonna do is basically have no setup fees, um, no data caps. And as I said, those speeds are symmetrical up and down are matched, which is really important if you're doing Zoom or teleconferencing, those sort of things, because that upload speed really matters. Um, so greater speed, no data caps, and no overage fees, which is gonna be really good for the, for the consumers. We've been dealing with several people in town. I wanna to introduce Ward Byers, and as I do, the, the town council president, I wanna present him a check that will finish. There's an initiative for some basketball courts going on, so I, I think that'll get you to your goal. But thank you very much, it's very kind of you. Thank you. Very nice, thank, thank you. you. You're welcome. So yeah, broadband internet uh, in Bourbon, Indiana. Um, today is a historic day in Bourbon. Uh, many people have uh, been working on uh, this project for many, many years, and we're very fortunate to um, be able to partner with Surf Broadband. I want to uh, introduce our superintendent of schools, Jeremy Riffle. He's been involved in these talks. Les McFarland, our vice president, Joel Harmon from Harmony Marketing Group, and Terry Clemens mm -hmm. uh, on the town council. Internet, high broad, high high speed broadband internet is is incredibly important not only for our residents but for our businesses. With e-learning, e-commerce, um, as it was alluded to earlier, uh, with COVID, it made it even more important to understand the need for high speed with our students, our our Triton scholars, and their need for uh, e-learning and digital learning. Um, we began streaming our our meetings, our town council meetings online. So it's important for us. Um, those folks who, who work from home, uh, vital. But what, it's really, what it really says today is that Bourbon is putting in an infrastructure that will carry us for decades, new housing starts, new industry and business. Um, we will have that infrastructure in place not only to serve those who currently work uh, and, and call Bourbon home and have their businesses here, but we're also going to be able to attract new housing starts new business and industry. So I think uh, this partnership is vital to Bourbon's future. It's, uh, it puts Bourbon on the map where Bourbon has never been on the map before. And I think the one message that we wanna send out to the community and to Marshall County and the state of Indiana today is Bourbon is now open for business. Come to Bourbon, we want you here. Awesome. And, and that is thanks to these folks up here and our partners at Surf Broadband. So thank you. Uh, Jeremy, you want to share? Yeah, the school corporation, we just can't be more excited. Um, I was sharing with you earlier that uh, we, I am getting the opportunity to sit under shade trees that I did not plan, right? But it is awesome to be here. It is awesome to see what has um, come to fruition um, after six years, seven years of planning and getting our hopes up and, and being frustrated and those type of things. Uh, community partners like Harmony, businesses have put a lot of money into the hopes of something like this coming um, and just having a meeting a couple of weeks ago it's here and people are starting to dig and I looked over at some of the people and I just said what, what how did that happen so quickly 
Um, but it has been a long time of a lot of efforts. Um, and I just want to thank you. I want to thank Gene um, and so many people who have put time and effort into making this a very, very easy process. Um, but for our scholars, as, as Ward alluded to, our Triton scholars uh, going through COVID and s there's so many challenges that that, that brought, this is going to allow an opportunity if and when we ever have to go there again, and we hope we don't, um, but it's going to allow the opportunity to make sure that um, our education is a little bit more equitable um, than maybe it was even just a year and a half ago. So super excited. Thank you guys so much for your efforts. Um, thank you for the town council um, and our local businesses that have really put a lot of time and effort into saying we want this for our community, we want this for our kids, and we want this for economic growth, um, which is something that we've talked a lot about, um, which just helps our school, helps our town, um, helps our community. Beautiful. Well, thank you. Kind words. Um, the, 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 the phases of our development are kind of shown up here on a map, but I, I think the most appropriate way to close all this up is just to give applause to all those who have contributed and, and who will continue to contribute.